Hello, this is Celine Chi uh, doing brush painting for beginners. One of the most popular subject in brush painting is flower and bird. So today we're going to do a simple flower and bird combination. Uh, the bird is called tanagers and um, the flower is going to be a rose. And um, the tanagers bird, I was inspired by um, a friend's photograph. Um, so Evan, can you? Um, the paper we are going to use today is, um, one of the, um, new paper we just got in is Jade Play Premium Single Shun. Uh, our double Jade Play is very popular. And this time we are trying out some single ones because it does give, uh, uh, um, bright, color and then uh, not too difficult to control moisture and birds is a very important subject that we need to know how to control the moisture and um, we are uh, using a uh, bright light color and which I have um, yellow and indigo make the green bird sienna and yellow and vermilion and then rose is going to be rouge and red and um, the spot on the uh, on the wing is uh, bleed proof white and add a little bit yellow to it and we had a, a, a person in our paper seminar request uh, about how to blend colors and how to make colors. And I'm going to show you, even though I've prepared um, ahead of time some colors, but then I will show you that this is how I make the um, rose color. I have red and rouge. So I squeeze red on one section and then I uh, sp squeeze some rouge on another section, which is the darker of the red. And then I spray a little bit water. So what I do is that I use a mixing brush and to mix the two color. And I actually try not to clean my brush when I'm after I mix the red and then I mix the rouge. So I sort of marry the red into the rouge. And then I take the rouge back into the red. And then this way, that two color later on is easier to blend because I pre-married two colors. So this is pretty much when you mix any two color together, you want to make sure that they blend well, then you kind of pre marry the two color. And then this is how we're going to make it the rose. Um, today, the, the other challenging thing is that glue water. A lot of times people bought this glue uh, we imported from Taiwan, which is a water sellable uh, transparent glue, and uh, they don't know how to use it. So today I'm also going to show you um, what the glue water meant for is to control the moisture in the bird. So I have this um, glue don't have a good nail for it. 
So I lift the lid and I have one tablespoon of water. And then I drop one drop, two drop. And then I put the lid back on the glue. So I use a clean brush to mix this together. That's my glue water. I will show you what is it used for. On the bud, uh, no, I'm sorry, on the, um, on the bird, I'm using two brushes only. The red feather small for the beak and eye, which is probably can get the smallest fine line. And um, the body, and I'm using our OAS Flow, which is a very popular brush. The paper I'm going to use is the um, Jade Play Single Shorn, which is very smooth and transparent, but give you good color, not too difficult to control moisture for beginners. So um, I have my red feather small, and I'm going to dip this brush into the glue water. So what does it do is that actually is controlling the moisture. And then I dip a little bit on the ink. So I'm going to do the beak. So this stroke is a little bit um, that and then so that's my beak and then I'm going to do the eye so not too far around from the beak a little u-shape that's my eye Then I'm using flow brush, make sure the, the body is pretty dry. And then I use the tip again, use my glue water, and then dip my pre-mixed yellow. I'm also, you can see this yellow and the vermilion were married to each other like I just beginning what I was talking about. So the yellow has a little bit of vermilion to it the vermilion has a little bit yellow to it. So then I'm going to do the head. That's the head of the bird. And then I, I rinse a little bit off the, the head uh, the tip of the color I had. And now I dip into glue water again. And then vermilion. Oh no, I'm sorry. Burn sienna. And then a little bit ink. Blend it too. So then I'm going to do the uh, top side of the um, bird, the wing, and um, that stroke is going to be twice as long as the head. So I started from here, and then I go. So you can see the head. 
So to soften the ring a little bit, I'm adding a stroke like that. And then I'm going to do the, the tail. And I rinse my brush off, get rid of all the burnt sienna, and back on the glue water. And then dip into yellow. This time a little bit vermilion, not as much as the head. So then I finish rounding up the body of the, the burr. And then I'm using the red feather small again for the claw, the feet of the burr. And then I um, accent a little bit of the bird, of the wing. So I use a little ink. And then my bleed proof white I mix with the yellow. So. accent the, the wing. All right, so my bird finished. Then I'm gonna use same brush for the branches the bird is standing on. So I'm using, this time I'm not using glue, and a little bit ink. Now I'm using my full lotus brush. Now, if you have a large flow, you can use that to do my roses. So I tip with my red from Bright Light and then rouge, which the two color I measured, married before. So then I go here. Red only for the then above this I'm going to use a little bit do a little bud there. Okay, and then I'm going to use the same brush with a little bit green, a little bit brown.
Okay, and then I'm going to use a same brush, dip some ink to connect with whenever I want to make sure that they are connecting. And then I use the same little brush when I was using for the beak for the storm. Bird. 